Hello everyone and welcome back to Clangen. We are back here with Stan Clan and I left on on a very silly little note because I forgot to choose a new deputy. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, Wolf Leap has now stepped down. He feels bad for what he has done and has, de has decided that he should not. Um, he shall not be part of. Uh, yeah, he, he's old and he has decided that he's not going to be part of, you know, he doesn't really deserve the deputy spot, is, is his own opinion. And uh, he feels a bit shameful. But that does mean that um, Stagstar has to choose a new deputy. Uh, and even though Wolf Leap and him left off on a better note than they have ever had before, um, it still ended up being the way it was. So last time we actually almost, um, I mean, we did actually put Willow Branch as the, uh, as the deputy last time, but the difference is now that she's actually expecting kids. And so I don't think she can become deputy or at least well she can but she she wouldn't want to i don't think but uh but last time we did appoint her deputy but then i realized she did not have an apprentice earlier so that was my mistake um we also i don't know why the moons are a little bit uh, weird here there we go um but we do also have j tuft and mallow fluff which i mean i barely recognize either of them Shy Freckle is actually getting up there in uh, in her years. I don't I don't have a lot of story for J Tuft and uh, and Mallow Fluff. I don't feel like they've done a lot. I don't maybe I haven't really looked at them a lot, but they they are training apprentices right now. So Dawn Moth has never had an apprentice. Uh, Blue Trot, Doe Stripe was your sister, so that can't have happened. Quill Whisker has an apprentice right now as well. Hmm. Okay, and Jay Speckle definitely won't, you know, have one. Wolf Leap is the only one really able right now. Shy Freckle was actually the the um, the mentor of Fawn Paw, which is interesting. But let's see the relationships a little bit better here. So we do have Willow Branch, who honestly would be the best one. Don Moth doesn't have an apprentice, uh, so we, sh we can't pick her. Stagstar does like Shy Freckle, but it's not a lot. Um, so it's kind of between Shy Freckle and Willow Branch, honestly. So the, the question is, is Willow Branch... Does she care enough to become the deputy? Uh, she was mentored by Wolf Leap, who influenced her to be more likely to dwell on things and refrain from socializing. Uh, and she became a better climber. She was honored for her compassion. I don't feel like... Maybe she doesn't... Maybe she's not that ambitious, honestly. I feel like... Uh, and she has her own things to deal with right now, so I don't feel like that's a good deputy. As it is right now. So Quill Whisker, who is currently mentoring an apprentice. Blue Trot is not. Um let's see. The only one the only one who kind of is is, is Shy Freckle, actually. Um who to be fair is uh having an apprentice right now. She has never successfully had an apprentice, but she did mentor Fonpa for the little moon she was alive, unfortunately. Uh, so maybe, maybe Shy Freckle, simply because of the fact that Willow Branch seems to be kind of in her own world right now. Uh, so let's see if we might actually put Shy Freckle on patrol. She's gonna lead a patrol with Mothpaw, J Tuft. Uh, oops. J Tuft, there we go. Blue Trot and Primrose Petal. She's gonna lead a border patrol. 
she's grumpy, but she's... I, I feel like um, with Chester Big Patrol, they're gonna proceed. And J Tuft and the rest of the cr patrol drives the rogue off. So... I think Shy Freckle is gonna be our new deputy. Uh, we're going through a lot of deputies. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, Shy Freckle is now our new deputy. And Stagstar kind of trusts her, kind of wish that Willow Branch was available, but right now she's, as I said, dealing with her own things. And also she doesn't seem like she really wants to be deputy. So, there we have it. Shy Freckle is the new deputy of Star Clan, and she has definitely proven herself. And Stagstar is proud of the way they're handling things. And Shy Freckle is feeling silly. <laughs> um... So that's all nice. Let's see, uh, what are the medics and cats up to? Ares Heart regrets not eating some stuff. And Flaxfire seems to be hanging out with Blaze Paw, actually. Um, Blaze Paw seems to have had a dream last night. And they're wondering what it could mean. Flaxfire shakes their heads sadly. They can't make sense of the vision. Blazepot, you don't want to be a um, medicine cat, right? And, mm, I don't know. He's cold and quick to make peace, though. Hmm. Hmm. He might. I mean, right now he's playing a prank, though. But we'll see next moon, I think. We'll keep an eye on that. Um... And then we have Quill Whisker, who's gonna probably take Cherry Paw on training. Uh, but it doesn't go too well, it seems. Ares Heart is gonna go out finding some Dandelion. Jade Speckle and Dawn Moth are gonna go out. Uh, just hunting, I think. Uh, they catch a little vole and Mallow, Tuff, Mallow Fluff. And Gale Paw are also gonna go out hunting. Oh no. Okay, the smell of food lures Gale Paw into what looks like a tunnel between some bushes. Mallow Fluff is in the lead, but considering Gale Paw is the one who found it and she's either childish or shameless, then she's gonna proceed. Something about this situation sets off all Mallow Fluff's instincts. Uh, they investigate carefully, and the patrol helps them strip the cover of the bushes away from a two-leg trap underneath. Yeah, there we go. So, Mallow Fluff actually uh, got to save them there. Um, well, it's time to uh, see Willow Branch's kids. Hello, what do you mean? Oh gosh, what just happened? Stag Clan now has no deputy? And we don't have enough healthy medicine cats? Uh, what? And Willow Branch has given birth to a litter of two kids with J Tuft and is looking forward to co parenting. Uh, I'm sorry, but. Um. Aries Heart, Gale Paw, Blaze Paw, Flax Fur. We don't have a medicine cat. We don't have a medicine cat. Moth Paw, Primrose Petal, and Shy Freckle are killed after a badger attack. Oh, you guys. What? Oh my gosh. As if. The injury wasn't bad enough. The skin on Wolf Leap's mangled tail has started to swell and feel feverish. Jade Speckle was out on a walk alone when they heard a dog approaching. They crawled into a thorny shrub to hide, but got some nasty scratches in the progress. What? what? The past moon, Aries Heart, Gale Paw, Blaze Paw, Flax for Moth Pop, Primrose Petal, and Shy Freckle have taken their place in Star Clan. So much grief and death has taken its toll on the uh, Stag Clan cats. 
Donmoth in particular is particularly shaken by it. I'm sorry, what? Okay. So that was that was um that was an extinction event, I believe. Okay. And apparently um Willow Branch and J Tuft had kittens together. Even though they don't even like each other, actually. Okay. And we don't have any medicine cats. Or a deputy. Okay. Um. Honestly, Wolfleep wants to get to know Stagstar better. We're gonna put him back on Deputy Patrol. I think Stagstar, after this badger attack, they probably fought very, very, like, alongside each other. And, I mean, they're... Wha... I, I could definitely see them, like... Okay, let's soot patch. We need you again, Mediator. Mediate between these two. Uh, mediate. I could definitely see those two growing like a lot together during that fight and all of this. So I'm gonna put him back on deputy uh, role because he was a good deputy. He just wasn't a good cat in his younger years. Um. Oh, I am so baffled right now. I have what? 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 You guys. What? That was so many cats. And Mothpaw. I was so... I loved her... Oh no! <laughs> and Blazepaw was gonna... Oh no! Oh no. And Primrose Petal. Oh my gosh. And Harry's heart is sending an omen of things to come to Sootpatch. Sootpatch, what do you have to say about everything? You saw some kitty pets playing with colorful moss. Okay, I'm assuming she's sending an omen of the old cat's death. Because that's definitely what we need more of here. Oh my goodness, I can't even... What? I'm, I'm just... I'm so... I'm, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so shocked. Um, we have two kittens. We have uh, a male who's noisy. And a little female who's nervous. Um, yeah. So I definitely think we're gonna name them after someone who died, at least. Um, or just all of them, honestly. Maybe, maybe all of them could, uh, something like, um, like Brave or something, you know? Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna name this Bramble Kit. Uh, like in in sense that Willow Branch is like hoping that Bramble Kit will kind of you know protect the camp and stuff when he grows older. And nervous little female. I'm gonna name. Well, I mean Badger Kit would be a perfect name, but I don't think. I don't think that's what, what we're gonna call her. Um, I'm gonna, honestly, this kind of, her pelt kind of looks like a dark sky with like 
a moon on the back. I'm gonna name her Moonkit. Uh, after like Willow Branch wanting and hoping that Star Clan is with them, you know. Okay, that was a big event. I don't even. We haven't gotten anywhere. <laughs> Uh, for any of you following Viper Clan's story as well, they are on Moon 34 right now. And technically, Stag Clan is supposed to be ahead of them. So I think we might have to do a double episode here. But, uh, I mean, things should go faster now, I I guess. Because we uh, all, all the cats, you know, died. Oh, I can't even... Okay, let's send out... Oh my gosh. No, our medicine cat! We don't have a medicine cat! And I mean, Viper Clan barely has a medicine cat either. Their medicine cat is like so old. She's barely even gathering herbs at this point. Does Cherry Paw have to. Oh my gosh. And her. She just lost. Oh my gosh. She just lost her entire family. She lost Rowan Pelt as a kid before she even knew him. And now she just lost her three siblings and her mother. I I'm sorry, I'm just so shocked. Um. Okay. So... I have no clue what, <laughs> what we should do here. As... I don't know. Um, Quill Whisker and Cherry Paw, I guess, are gonna go training. Uh, she seems to be doing fine on her training, so I don't think she would want to be a medicine cat. I don't. Okay. Uh, Stag Star is gonna take Blue Trot, Dawn Moth, and J Tuft on a border patrol. Yeah, and they've been hearing rumors that a badger is standing in the Stag Clan territory. They're gonna take the fight. Well, the only way to know is to check. I think you guys know already. It's only by the grace of Star Clan that they are able to redirect speed and twist around uh, fast, shedding fur in clumps as the badgers. Furious snarling and fizzling follows them up the burrow tunnel. I'm gonna say they they chased this thing out because um, well it just killed a third of the clan. <laughs> okay, uh, you two can go hunting. There's traps. Considering everyone is kind of uh, childish and nervous, I'm gonna just proceed. They continue hunting. It's fine. Let's skip another moon. We still don't have any... Um... We still don't have any medicine cats. But Hoot Cry strides into camp, much to everyone's surprise. They're home. And Dawn Moth is somehow... Uh, her shock is somehow gone. Stagstar and Hoot Cry take an early evening patrol out to, of camp to watch the moon rise. Stagstar has gotten a runny nose, Sootpatch has gotten white cough, Jade Pickles, uh, Pickle? <laughs> Jade Speckles' torn pelt has healed, but they have a scar, and medicine herbs are going away. Let's see, Jade Speckle, where are you? Uh, here you are. I don't, I don't see any scars, I must admit. Um, oh, it's on his tail. Okay, so he has some scars on his tail. I'm gonna just send Stagstar and Hootcry out hunting. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go on a border patrol, but oh well. Um, the rain seems as a consist as constant unceasing beat, punctuating the steps of the hunting patrol. Um, there's one less footstep than there should be. Stagstar, oh my god, Stagstar can't see Hootcry in the water haze. The patrol backtracks. Hootcry is found, huddled under a bush. They lost the path and sight of their clanmates, but sensi sensibly remain put. It's one more obstacle in a miserable day of hunting. They return with prey, but it's an exhausting and barely even worth it. I 
can't believe who cries back. I can't believe a third of the clan died. His mom is dead. His do you have siblings? I I think you do, yeah. Um well Quill Whisker is still alive. And she has a mate now. Moss Flower isn't with us anymore. Uh but you guys <laughs> I, I think that's enough of Star Clan for now. Um, I'm gonna need to sit down a little bit. Well, I'm already sitting down. <laughs> if you guys do like all this drama here in our clan, please consider subscribing. It would make me really happy. And I would love to share more of this story with you. But until next time, bye bye.